Brian Lara was the star of the show on the opening night of the TNT Film Festival. Sam Lockyer's documentary detailing the legends 501 Not Out Not for Warwickshire in 1994 opened the event. We connected with the Englishman to find out more about what inspired this film a quarter century later. Teams hardly can score 500, let alone one single man. It's just a pleasure to watch. I mean, he's an unbelievable batsman. He's the best player that I've ever seen. Brian Lara's iconic innings of 501 is now hitting the cinema screens. Released on the 25th anniversary of the record last year, the documentary opened this year's TNT Film Festival. It took director Sam Lockyer two years of production, coming to Trinidad and Tobago and speaking with the likes of Lara's Fatima teacher, Harry Ramdas. South African pacer Alan Donald, as well as these little fans who chased Lara after he broke the record for Warwickshire. Lockyer was one of those who had the honor of meeting Lara as a child in a West Indies series, getting his autograph. I remember in 1995, um, the West Indies came over, um, and I just remember queuing for Brian's autograph on the boundary's edge, um, and just being in, in absolute awe of him, really, in the the queue of kids, you know, it was ridiculous. He remained enthused by the left-hander who played for Warwickshire. This film shows rarely seen footage of that incredible 501 knock. For me, it was more about this kind of theatrical approach. Um, and we utilized some incredible, incredible archive that's never been seen before. Um, there's footage from shot by fans that were actually in the stadium in 1994 at Edgebaston. But the film goes even deeper, showing how Lara's 375 and 501 in the space of a month turned him into cricket's first real superstar. He's really a trailblazer. Um, if you think now, all these, these sort of big sponsorship contracts and these big kind of deals that these cricketers have, the IPL, all this kind of stuff, well, you know, Brian was kind of the first kind of global superstar of, of the game, I'd, I'd argue. But perhaps more than any other thing, this film shows even 26 years later, and a new era and format of cricket. 501 Not Out is still fresh in the minds of cricket fans.